Amadil Kumar, welcome to my series on weighted averages. Now let us discuss how to find average speed. So we'll consider a person whose uh, speed uh, of walking, for example, is uh, let's write just walk is uh, five kilometers per hour, and uh, speed to run is let's say twenty kilometers per hour. And we need to find the average speed of this person who walks for some time and then runs for some time. So that's the kind of example we will now consider. So let us say that the time to run is time, let's say we use time to run. Here we'll have time to walk is, uh, let us say, two hours. And time to run is let us say five hours right so we are taking an example where a person walks for two hours at an average speed of five kilometers per hour and then runs for five hours at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour now we need to find overall average speed so we have to find uh, overall average speed so we have to find the average speed of this person during this trip how will you do so well since the times are different we cannot really add these two speeds and divide by two right if you add you get 25 divide by 12 divide by 2 will be 12.5 half of 25 but let's find and check what do we get if we have different times to walk and to run at these speeds right so we know distance is speed into time is it okay that is the distance speed into time and when we talk about average speed it is distance speed into time when we say average speed so what we are talking about is total distance divided by total time okay so let's say this is morning exercise routine for the person person during that period walks for two hours at an average speed of five kilometers an hour and runs for five hours at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour and we need to now find his overall average speed how can we find it? so what we can do is we can use this formula right distance is speed into time so distance covered while walking will be product of these two right so let me write down here that is speed of walking times time to walk is that okay time to walk so that is the distance uh, covered during walking plus running will be speed while running times time of run is it okay divided by total time total time will be time to walk plus time to run is that okay so that's kind of clear right so I'm not using variables like X and Y, but I'm kind of writing them down so that the concept is clear. Now, in this case, we are given the speed to walk is five kilometers per hour. So let me write five kilometers per hour time. I'll put a decimal here. That means times. Okay. Time is two hours it's times two hours plus speed to run is 20 kilometers per hour times Time to run is 5 hours divided by total time, which is 2 hours plus 5 hours, correct? So let's do this math now. 5 times 2 is 10. The units are hours, hours cancel out. You're left with kilometers. Do you see? Units also match. Plus 20 times 5 is 100 in kilometers divided by total time seven hours you get an idea right so so that is what we get so which is 110 
kilometers divided by 7 hours. So the average speed is not addition of these two and divide by 2. It is 110 divide by 7, right? So you can use the calculator and find the answer. Let me grab one. Okay, so here we are. So we have uh, to calculate 110 divided by 7. That gives us 15.71, right? So we get here 15 point, let us say 7 kilometers per hour, right? So 15.7 kilometers per hour is the average speed of this person during this morning exercise. You can see it is very different from the average which you would have got otherwise by adding 20 and 5 and dividing by 2, right? So that is uh, equals to, we can write this as 25 over 2 or 12.5. Now, average is much higher in this case since the person runs for a longer period of time and the running speed is much higher. So here is the concept of weighted averages. Since the weight of this is higher, right, so our average is closer to 20. Now, if I change the scenario, that is to say, if I write here 5 hours for walking and 2 hours for running, then this will drop down towards 5, right? So let that be an exercise for you. So now interchange the time for running and walking and then find the average speed to really appreciate the effect of uh, averages, the weighted averages. I hope this gives you a clear idea of how weighted averages are different from normal averages. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always subscribe my videos and share them with your friends. Thank you and all the best.